And let's head over to Anthony Salvanto because a new CBS poll is showing us what voters think about Trump's indictment in the January 6th case. Our new polling shows that 51 percent of voters say the former president planned to stay in office through illegal and unconstitutional means after the 2020 election. That's compared to 29 percent who say he attempted to hold on to power legally. Anthony Salvanto is our uh, director of elections and surveys and joins us now. Anthony, always great to see you. Um, tell us a little bit more about what voters are saying about former President Trump's indictment. Hey there, Caitlin. So if you put those two items you just read together, those who think he tried to stay through illegal means, and those who think he tried to stay through legal means, and we'll unpack those in a second, that's the majority of the country that do, does think they witness a president trying to stay in office. And because of that, this isn't just a window into his actions, it's a window into, into what the public thinks of how democracy is working. Let me show you why. With these 51% who think he tried to do it through illegal or unconstitutional means, they see these indictments now as upholding the rule of law. But the folks who say that he tried by legal means, well, the bulk of them, as with the bulk of Republicans, they also think that the 2020 election was conducted fraudulently. They're, they're buying that disproven narrative that the former president has been talking about. And so that underpins the, the why of why they see it this way. And so in both those cases, you start to understand how the public sees this into that window on how democracy is working, Caitlin. Yeah, and Anthony, what about the, the legitimacy of the 2020 election? I mean, it's so fascinating to me that we're, you know, three years past that and we are just now getting some Republican candidates like Ron DeSantis acknowledging that Trump lost the election, which we all know to be the case. Um, but what are voters saying? about and the I legitimacy think, of the election. Yeah, I think that's going to be fascinating going forward in the campaign, too, because the other component of this, Caitlin, is what they see as political motivation, right? You see this big number here of 71 percent of Republicans that think the indictment is politically motivated. Well, that's, first of all, comparable to what we saw in the last indictment. So there's a narrative that's really taken hold here. You, you heard it from some of those sounds from voters that you played at the top of the segment, where once they think that the indictment is politically motivated, it becomes very hard then for anybody else, at least from what we've seen, to break through in criticizing the president, which most Republican voters tell us they don't want anybody to do. We see that in their campaign strategies, at least at this point as well. Anthony Salvanto, thank you so much for this. We appreciate it.